Welcome to Explore Embedded. This is Sandeep and I will introduce you to the ARM 7 2148 development board. Now this ARM 7 LPC 2148 is a old horse. It has been there for quite some time. It is a nice little chip and we have decided to make an ARM stick just like the LPC 1768. Now uh, the board that you see here it has four uh, switches, uh, four LEDs, all the pins are taken out and you know uh, this retains the same form factor so that you know you can snap it on a breadboard like this so that you can access all the pins that are here now let me just walk you through the features of the board and then we'll go ahead and set it up with the computer and see how we can program it now the at the center we have the lpc2148 it has 512 bytes 512 kilobytes of flash 32 kilobytes of ram and then uh, it, it also has inbuilt USB which we use to program the microcontroller so, so that we don't need an external USB programmer. Now apart from all that we also have a JTAG connector for debugging and um, you know the power circuitry so that you can power it up from the Dixie jack. It also has this. Uh, okay let's see how we can set this up and program it up. Now I connected the micro USB on one end. So let me just go ahead and plug that on the other side to the computer. When I plug it, nothing happens. You know, the controller starts executing the code which is already there. And now there's a blinking code in, on it, so it just uh, blinks. Now, for it to boot, boot as USB boot device, what we need to do is press and hold the you know USB boot switch here. Press the reset switch, release it, and then release the USB boot switch. So we'll have. Uh, this appear as you know explore 2148 drive what we simply need to do is we need to delete this bin file and you know uh, put the bin file that was generated from the code uh, I can drag and drop copy paste into whatever you wish simply uh, paste the bin file here and you know for it to uh, start operating in normal mode you just need to hit the reset button once. So once I done, once I done that, the board starts blinking. So this is so easy to program, uh, which is you know quite excellent uh, with the USB bootloader. Now the board comes with uh, USB bootloader inbuilt, so you'll have not have to do anything. Now let me just go ahead and quickly show you what configurations you need to do uh, in order to use the uh, USB bootloader and you know in order to set the offset so that you know the code works properly so so when you create a new key project so this is for key so it could be done for any other ide so you need to go to the project properties and the first thing that you need to specify is the target addresses so since there is a usb bootloader in the starting of the flash you need to specify the starting addresses 0x 2000 so this is a very important setting and also uh, in the linker you need to check this option which says use memory layout from the target dialog so this is the target dialog so the target dialog says that the code starts from you know 0x 2000 and what you would also need to do is in order to generate the bin file uh, first you need to uh, enable uh, you know creating the uh, hex file over here and from this hex file you'll be generating a bin file and to do that you need to click on the users tab and put this uh, custom command here you need to turn it on and type this command so what this does is uh, it says from elf so it generates the bin file from elf and uh, this is the name of uh, the axf file led.axf which is generated after compiling and then you know uh, dash o and dash bin so this generates the bin file so when you uh, click on ok and you know when you click on uh, compile or you know, build the project it, it generates the bin file so let me just build it all so with these settings you'll be able to generate a bin file and you can drag and drop this bin file as shown earlier and it will be good to go if you have any uh, comments or suggestions on this do uh, post below and see you in the next video. Thank you.